Hello, I am back. Here is going to be a video comparison of between the 100 watt LED light versus the locomotive light, an X Conrail light. I will only be firing up the top one as the bottom one has lost its vacuum and will burn up as soon as power is applied. And for the grand finale, we have the 500 watt LED light. <clears throat> I'm going to be firing all three of them up. It's a little foggy, so may get some cool effect or something. So we're going to try them out. And we'll see what happens in the fog. Point you out to the darkness. Here is the 100 watt. Walk up. Here's what I think is a little cool. Got some little shadows. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is the 500 watt LED light. Much bigger beam. Set this on the ground. There we go. Kinda like that effect. And even when it is not foggy, it can still do this. Very kinda slight, but it's still noticeable. I don't know if the camera can pick it up when it's not foggy out. Alright, that's enough with that, with that light. Alright, now I'm going to pause it for a sec so I can wire up the locomotive light, which is right there, to the batteries for the 500 watt light. Since that the 500 watt light requires 70, 70 to 80 volts of direct current at around 7 amps, and the locomotive light only requires 75 volts have her only around 3 amps. So, I'm just gonna rewire it. I'm just gonna do that little effect about speeding up the video. Alright. Alright, there we go. I just wired it up. So now the locomotive light will turn on when I flip the switch instead of the light. All right, so we'll fire this up. Just point it more towards the trees a little bit further away. All right, there we go. This is that 75 volts. Kind of see the beam. Kind of see the beam on there. Takes a while for it. Get a front view angle of it when I turn it on. All right. Quick on off. You can hear a Norfolk Southern uh, freight train about uh, three quarters of a mile away from here. Alright, get a one more front view of this thing. 
Alright. On. Let's walk in front of it. Yeah, that thing is very, very bright. That's pretty much all I can say. Now I read online that I think that this is around 6,500 lumens. That's what I think. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know out there, know exactly how many lumens this is, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. So, that's pretty much my locomotive light from a Conrail 500 watt light and my 100 watt light. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. One more time. All right, there we go. It does take a while for the filament to cool down. All right, thanks for watching.